my name is Rachel and I'm here today to do a book haul. So I have acquired a few books over the last few weeks so I just wanted to show you them today. So I'm just going to get started. First thing that I picked up is my purple scented novel by Ian McEwan. This is like a tiny little vintage book. There's only about 30 pages in it and I really enjoy Ian McEwan's writing and I thought this would be a good little John into his writing without um, committing to a full novel because I have read some of his novels that I've not enjoyed so I kind of want to read a few more of his books to know if I want to read like a hell of a lot more of his books because I adored Atonement but I did not enjoy it on Chesil Beach at all so yeah this is like a little one to pick up. This little edition is being published in celebration of Ian McEwan's 70th birthday and it says in the back My purple scented novel follows the perfect crime of literary betrayal, scrupulously raw yet unscrupulously executed. So yeah, I've got that one. That sounds quite good. The next thing I picked up is a classic that I have always wanted to pick up and it is The Old Man in the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. I've never read any Hemingway and this is one that I've wanted to pick up for a while. I have kind of thought that I might like it because The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner I read a few years ago and that was one of my favourite things. Like I really, really enjoyed reading that and this, I mean, it's Man in the Sea, pretty similar. So I always just assume that I'm going to really enjoy it. And this book won the Nobel Prize for Literature of Hemingway. So but that's a pretty high uh, praise for this one. And I've just always wanted to pick it up. So I finally did. And this is another short one. Don't know if you can tell, but when I allow myself to buy books, I try to buy ones that are small and cheap for Switzerland. <laughs> so yeah, this one's just under 100 pages. So that'll be a quick read. The next one that I picked up is Days That End by Sebastian Barry, which I wanted to read for quite a while. This was Costa's Book of the Year of 2016. It was also nominated for quite a few things. And I really wanted to pick this up. I know this features LGBT plus characters and a male-male relationship, and it's about the war. So it is about two boys in the US Army in 1850, and they fight in Indian Wars and the Civil War, and a girl crosses their path and the possibility of lasting happiness seems within reach if only they can survive. So yeah, I've just wanted to read this for a while and it got a lot of hype when it came out so I'm really excited to pick this one up. And I got something I'm really super excited for and that is Psycho by Robert Block. I've never read Psycho, I've only seen the film and I've only seen the film a long time ago so I was really excited to pick this up unfortunately. So this is a special kind of edition. They do them so you can buy a book in a foreign language that you're learning and you will have the writing in the foreign language but a difficult word or a, diff a word they think you might not know they will put at the bottom here as a footnote. So it's a good way to be able to read without constantly having to check up words in the dictionary. So I should have bought this book in German and then obviously I'd have the English stuff at the bottom. However, they didn't have it in German, they only had it in English with the German underneath. So I thought, well I'll get it anyway because I can still like be looking at it and thinking, oh okay, well what's this, what's this? So I can still see a bit of the German but to be honest it's a bit of a disappointment but I wanted it and these books are hella cheap so I was like, I'm just gonna get it anyway. I'm not really gonna say what this is about because I feel like everyone knows what this is about and if you don't know what it's about, you don't want to know what it's about before you go into the story, so I'm not going to tell anyone. <laughs> then I got this beautiful little pocket penguin edition of Out of Africa by Karen Blixen. This is a memoir and it recalls Blixen's life running a farm in Africa and this was at the start of the 20th century and she had a big love affair that changed her life and it's all that sort of stuff. And I just thought it sounded quite good. I quite enjoy memoirs at times and this is such a beautiful edition. Like I need to find more of these little orange ones because this is really, really pretty. So yeah, excited for that. Then I did the friggin' stupid thing again where I save for ages, don't buy books for ages, feel like I'm doing really well and then I go into a bloody art gallery and buy a massive fucking textbook of a art gallery book. So we have another coffee table art book here. Um, <laughs> this is Ermine Worms Peace and Plenty. There was an exhibition of Ermine Worms work at the Kunsthaus in Luzerne and I really enjoyed it. All of the rooms I didn't enjoy, um, which is really rare for me. Like I'm not normally someone who 
doesn't get anything from art gallery and I was literally getting to the end and I was like I haven't enjoyed anything that's that's really weird and disappointing and you have to pay to get into galleries in Switzerland so it's a bit of a ball ache but then your ticket also involved their exhibitions and yeah I loved this guy's work and I've never heard of him before and I just thought I'm just gonna get it because I really enjoy what he does. So Erwin Worm, he's mostly known for his sculptures looking up online actually, it was really hard to find pictures of his art and not just his sculptures. So I've not actually looked into his sculptures and I need to, but his art is very much like portraiture and just yeah I just really enjoyed them. He just had like a lot of different versions of the same pictures but with different stuff going on and I just thought it was really really cool. When I do art stuff I normally do like portraiture as well, I like drawing and painting people. When I do landscapes it's pretty shit every time but um, I enjoy like I enjoy specifically like painting women so yeah it's a really good book for me to have anyway so I was like I'm just gonna buy it and I was annoyed at myself for buying it and I need to try and get it home now because I've got too many art books. And then the last thing that I have this month is The Atheist Mass by Honoré de Balzac. This is one of the Little Black Classics editions and I have a friend who is leaving Switzerland on Friday unfortunately and she was getting rid of loads of her stuff. She gave me so much stuff. And um, one of the things she gave me was this, because she said she wouldn't take it home with her. This is two devastating stories of faith and sacrifice from Balzac's panorama of 19th century French life, the Comédie Humaine. So this sounds really, really cool, and I'm excited for this. So they are all the books that I picked up this month. It was actually an extremely cheap month. With these ones except for this but yeah thank you very much for watching if you've read any of these please let me know down below which ones i should get to soon and i will see you in my next video bye